Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can defrag the hard drive on your PlayStation 4. So I've already gone through and I've deleted any games and apps that I don't really want and I've also attached my DualShock to my PlayStation 4 with a uh, data USB cable. So by defragging your PlayStation 4 the idea is you get better performance. So, And I think they the official name is Rebuilding the Database. So now let's turn it off like so. Now remember there is an option on here to completely wipe your PlayStation 4 so be very careful that you don't actually do that. Right so she's off so now what we want to do is we want to press and hold the power button which is the one on the kind of thinner side of the wedge the one near the, the, the what would be the base of the PlayStation that, that's the disc eject this, this is the power one here. We're going to press and hold this until we hear two beeps One, oh, 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 we got the two. Oh, what happened there? Okay. Fuck, he hasn't done it again, man. <laughs> you can probably tell it's taken me a while to, uh, <laughs> to get this to work. I keep doing it wrong. So there we go. So we had the first beep, then we had the second beep, and then um, we go into the into safe mode. So now we press the uh, PlayStation button, Dunk. and there we go. So we're into safe mode. So we just want to go to rebuild database. We don't want to go to number six in this size PS4. And then we hit that, and we say OK. Now this may take several hours to do. Now I've got a two gigabyte hard drive in my PlayStation 4, and I've got an external 256 gigabyte hard drive on it as well, uh, SSD. So all you do is you just let it do its business, go away, go do something else. Some people report it doesn't take very long. Some people report it takes a while. I guess a lot of it depends on the speed of your hard drive and the state of your PlayStation. And then when you come back and you turn it on, things should be a little bit faster. Anyway, that's enough from me. I'll put a link in the description down below to a article that shows you how to do it. And um, yeah, there we go. That's how you defrag and rebuild the database. Oh look, it's doing it now. Anyway, I'll leave it there and I'll see you again soon.